this is duels versus Swifty. Uh, it's Warrior versus Death Knight. I'd say Death Knights have the upper hand with all of their cooldowns. Although Warriors can do enough damage to just kill you outright through all of them at once because you're having to worry about healing yourself instead of killing them. Uh, the more uptime you get, the more you can stop their opener through Icebound, Trinket, and Pet Stun, the better off you're going to be. And if you can get out of charge range or have an out to the charge via Trinket, uh, Icebound, you can let your pets pretty much solo him as much as possible and then just heal yourself when you're taking damage. Uh, can do quite a bit to really frustrate him. My pets pretty much took him to half health for me. Um, although it still comes down to a very close duel because I can take so much damage very quickly and go to about 3k health, get my pet sec off, get a death strike off. A Colossus Smash will still get me low and some of the matches can come down to the point of Ruin of the Fallen Crusader proccing and giving me enough health to win. Yeah. Holy crap. They can get really close if uh, any mistake on your part or if you don't parry something, anything, if every single Colossus Smash throwdown and Mortal Strike hits as you just can't get the overpowers anyway, you're probably going to die, although RNG pretty much says you should get one. It doesn't really matter what, but one should be enough to peel just enough damage that you can pull ahead, or you could just get lucky on Ruin of the Fallen Crusader. Half the time, though, goes the other way, too. You can just kill him outright in your opener, too. Uh, if you get a good setup of dots and you do parry something important, or he misses something important, or you fully kite something important. Uh, for most of these, I've stopped jumping uh, the opening charge, mainly because it just makes it a nightmare. Um, in Arena, yes, I do jump charges, but uh, it's just really frustrating for duels because it stops his opener, which just ruins the chance anyone really has of winning a duel, because uh, I, I really don't think charges should be jumpable. Um, it's not the way the class should really be balanced around. Uh, the quicker you can get your Gargoyle up, the better off you're going to be for a couple of reasons. A, whatever his random damage, sweeping strikes, cleaving, whatever it is, kills, uh, you can sacrifice. If it's your gargoyle or your pet, if he doesn't kill your pet, you can sacrifice your gargoyle at the end, or sacrifice your pet and get another one up. You just want to be careful not to sacrifice your gargoyle at the start or your big pet. Um, you can do one or the other, although you can sacrifice your enraged pet if you need to. Um, personally, I try to aim for the gargoyle at the end of it every time, uh, just because it buys me the most uptime for my pet because it's very rare that I can enrage my pet. He won't make it more than once in the duel. Um, we have to switch a bunch because there's Horde everywhere as you can probably see in the back matches and they really ruined um, all of the good wins on the ones where I have all my cooldowns and he would have won. Horde pretty much jumped in or I wasn't frapsing or lagged or DC'd or something like that uh, and a lot of them can come down to just RNG as you saw in the first match, Ruin of the Fallen Crusader bought me enough time to get the kill, which is stupid. Uh, just save all your stuff as long as you can. You have an out to the first of everything he does. You have an out to the charge, you have an out to the throwdown, you can trink the disarm if you need to. Coil healing, death strike, pet sack should be relatively enough. Um, keep you alive for most of it, or at least put it to where the duel's really, really, really close. I trinketed a charge stun almost immediately, and he doesn't have a charge, so I get 15 seconds to run away at max distance in the kite while my big pet kills him. Uh, just, if you can buy that time to get away, you do fairly well. You just have to be very careful to get it, otherwise it doesn't work out too well. Anyway, Warriors, the main thing you need to watch out for is Colossus Smash. It'll tear you to shreds. Uh, if they get enough uptime, you'll just die outright. I try to pet stun the first Colossus Smash or pet stun to stop their rent hamstring opener if I can get that too. Um, that should buy me enough time to kite away and then jump charges, uh, icebound them, and run. Uh, the sooner you get your gargoyle up, like I'm not doing in this match, the better off you're going to be, because you can't get rid of either one. Uh, my pet's dying here, but it shouldn't really matter because I'm going to pop my cooldown to get ahead, but it's a warrior and I fall a little bit behind on the healing and I'm going to go splat while I try to get my trinket and then pet sack, and it's just not going to go off. I'm going to die before it goes off through a 22k mortal strike. Uh, it really sucks, but you have to you have to stay ahead. They can't just assume that a warrior at any given time can take off 40k of your health. You really want to stay above that point as much as possible uh, so that you can't just randomly die before you can get the heal off. Try to stay within the chart dead zone them. Um, out of melee range within the within the maximum distance minimum distance of charge and out of melee range um, and just run around just looking like a fairy and 
it works out really easily if you can get the dead zone right. Um, if you can get them to pull a charge, like if they run off and charge, then you can just ice bound and continue to kite at full distance um, and let your pet solo and often force them to switch and kill your pets, which just buys you rage and free damage, honestly. Because you can summon another pet and then sacrifice it. Although, if you don't have Colossus Smash, you should probably just stay in melee range. Although, Colossus Smash doesn't always come up at the right times. You could be in a throwdown. Uh, some matches, you're, he'll just destroy your pets. He'll kill you, he'll kill your pets. Just don't fall behind on the damage. You have to heal yourself back up. You have to be ready with your cooldowns. Pull your second pet out if you can. Keep the gargoyle up. Just keep focusing on healing yourself despite the cooldowns. Uh, even if you don't have Empire Rune weapon up. Um, hopefully... You can see this, and please go to his views. He got all the good matches where he won on Fraps, uh, despite the horde jumping in, and enjoy the music and the rest of the video.